things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. United Nations reporter Eric Carter with the news. As the series of earthquakes continue to destroy Chile, the United Nations has granted immediate emergency aid. Transport planes laden with food and medical supplies have already been dispatched to the stricken area. Through the facilities of the International Communications Satellite, we take you live to Santiago de Chile and our UN reporter, Rodrigo Infanta. Hello, Santiago. This is Eric Carter in New York. Hello, Eric. This is Rodrigo Infanta reporting via ICS from the UN newsroom in Santiago de Chile. The planes have already arrived and are being unloaded. The last recorded tremor was four hours ago. Hopefully, it was the last. I have a message from the president of Chile conveying his heartfelt thanks to the United Nations and the Red Cross for their swift and most excellent assistance. Rodrigo Infanta, signing off from Santiago. Thank you, Rodrigo. Considerable attention has been focused on the Bering Sea. The Japanese fishing fleet has reported a strange phenomenon. Large icebergs have been breaking up, the flows of which are drifting southward towards Japan and melting quickly. The Japan Current, sometimes called Kuroshito, divides here. The northern branch skirts Asia, and merges with the cold Oyashia current. This normally cold ocean stream is maintaining an abnormally warm temperature. The United Nations has dispatched its nuclear submarine, Seahawk, with several of the world's most prominent scientists into the area. More on that matter as it arises. Japanese scientist Akiro Makino, winner of last year's Nobel Prize for Medicine, claims to have made a rather amazing discovery in the field of chemotherapy. These red berries, discovered in his latest field trip in the Bougainville area, produce a non-habit-forming narcotic effect. Unfortunately, he reports, the berries grow in only one small, remote, primitive island, and the natives there are reluctant to give them up. It seems animals are fond of this fruit, and the berries are ground into juice by the natives to placate a, quote, mysterious god, unquote, who lives on the island. The god is supposedly an enormous creature that no one has ever seen, but who is rumored to be taller than many of their mountains. Dr. Makino would make no comment on whether such a creature exists or not, but the Pacific Pharmaceutical Company, Dr. Makino's employer, claims he does exist. They also claim that the reason he is such a giant is because he eats Dr. Makino's berries. There is one thing we can be certain of, that these berries will produce, and that is a giant advertising campaign. I call the plant Soma. So far, our early tests have shown remarkably good results. We are pleased. My notes confirm this. I will, however, need more berries to continue with the tests. But because of their god, the natives absolutely refuse to give up any more than just a few handfuls. How strange. Uh, would you show us exactly where the island is on the chart? Of course. Of course. Just before returning home, I touched at Bougainville. Here, in the Solomons. And about 62 miles south from there was a small island called Faroe Island. There, gentlemen, is where I found the red berries and the strange god. Ooh, strange story, Mr. Makino. Uh, I find it hard to believe that. Uh... Buru. Sounds like a fairy tale, Doctor. Does a giant creature exist here? Since you ask my opinion, my answer is yes. A giant monster? <laughs> he must be putting us on. We must really need publicity. It's heads. So get a monster. Taco, not a monster. Really? Yes. A monster. Come on, think. I want action now and no arguments. A wonderful stunt. Terrific. 
Of course. Have you seen our latest TV ratings? They're terrible. Who out there is watching our show? Nobody. Because it's dull and boring and without imagination. That's why. Pacific Pharmaceuticals demands publicity. You two are going to Ferro. Find me a genuine monster, if he exists or not. Steaks are ready. Are you hungry? Hungry? I'm starving. Wait. I have something to show you first. Look at this sewing machine thread. This is wire, stronger than steel. Just watch this. We're testing it money in Hokkaido. Hold it. Don't do that. No, don't. Stop. Stop. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Give it, don't do that. Come on, stop. I believe you. Stop it. You're not Tarzan. All right, you win. Come on, no more. No more. You should take some with you on your expedition. There is nothing stronger. Here. Hey, that's not fair. What? How come your boyfriend's steak is bigger than your brother's? Sakurai, stop it, will you? Fujita, eat, honey. I made the steak for you. Hey, what's so interesting? Story uh, about a submarine. Submarine? UN Submarine Seahawk is calling in from the Arctic Sea. Hello, Seahawk. Go ahead, Commander Roberts. This is Commander Roberts reporting from UN Submarine Seahawk. We are approaching area and will submerge shortly. Hello, Seahawk. This is Eric Carter from UN headquarters switching you now to Utaka Omura in Tokyo. Hello, Seahawk. This is Tokyo. Our tracking stations in Japan are following you closely. Thank you. Over and out. We are following the submarine Seahawk by ICS. Her present location is latitude 58 degrees north, longitude 178 degrees east. Captain, water temperature is 68 degrees. 68 degrees? It can't be. There aren't any warm currents in the Arctic Ocean. Check that temperature. Yes, sir. Captain, I see a strange light behind the iceberg, dead ahead. That must be it. Let's go down and have a look. Take it down, fast. Emergency dive. <laughs> It looks like the Chalankov light. Chalankov light? What can that be? Yes, that's it. It's a light generated in nuclear reactors. And that light looks very much like it. Captain, we're having a Geiger response. Stand by. Depth at 85 meters. Still heading towards the iceberg. We're getting closer. Up underwater periscope. Emergency lights. All stations, report damage. What did we hit? It must be an iceberg. Iceberg? Periscope out of order. Atomic fuel room damaged. and engines badly damaged. Engine room reports repairs impossible. Oh, great. Captain, do something before we are crushed to death. Fire Mayday water signal. Captain, the Geiger response is climbing. Captain, sonar's out of order. I'm sure a rescue party will come looking for us. 
There is nothing we can do but wait and pray that they see the Mayday signal. Water in the engine room. Secure all the bulkheads. Captain, water in the conning tower. Secure the hatch. Engine room flooding rapidly. Captain, do something. Abandon ship. All hands, prepare to abandon ship. The escape hatch is jammed. Captain, we're trapped. <laughs> Make of that, Al. Godzilla! The world is stunned to discover that prehistoric creatures exist in the 20th century. Tracking stations show Godzilla heading in a southeasterly direction towards the offshore islands of Japan. He seems to be traveling in a straight line and on a predetermined course, though as yet we have no explanation as to why. Dr. Kenji Shigazawa, Minister of Defense, has been meeting with the Army Chiefs of Staff. The armies have been alerted as we wait for more news from Japan. Dr. Shigazawa, statement, please. Is Godzilla coming? Yes, he is. He is approaching, quickly. Can we stop him? We must not panic. If there is one thing we cannot afford at this time, it is hysteria. A national emergency may exist, but the armed forces will defend Japan at all costs. That's really all I can tell you now. Good day. What if the army can't stop him? Of course, other plans are now being considered. Any way we can find to stop Godzilla must be considered. I see. Then you have discussed using the atom bomb. Possibly as a last resort. If we do not destroy Godzilla soon, the monster will destroy us all. Gentlemen, that's all I can tell you for now. Good day. Yutaka Omura from Tokyo, reporting that the situation is grim. Evacuation plans are being prepared. People should have small, light baggage ready. Please remain calm. The Japanese Navy is filling the various harbors with evacuation craft, and we now wait to see in which direction Godzilla will strike next. Can 
sick of Godzilla. Send a wire. Immediately. Oh, yes. Right away, sir. I want my own monster. Find me a monster, fast. That, and uh, That's exactly I, 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 ten I, words, sir. Oh, you, you, send it, send it. Land ho! Land ho! Come on. There it is. Land off the starboard bow! Faroe Island. Good luck. Thanks. We'll need it. Shove up. Oh, Sa Sakurai, I am scared. Why? It looks like a friendly sort of island. Who, who, who? Do you suppose they know? <laughs> Don't shout. Please don't push. Don't you get hey, Wait a minute. It's not my... He brought me here. Him. Him. He's the leader. Hold it. Goodwill mission. Got it? I'm not here to become their dinner. This is Hero, Suhero Man, Ikamu, Longetsmas, Suhero, East Prince, Birongu, Mihero. Oi, like, looking Prince, Birongu, Mihero. Hero, talk, Birongu, me. That's all you to Pharaoh. You go back wrong place. Belong you Pharaoh. Well, he order you to leave this place right now. That one. He's right. Let's go. Hold it. Will you just take it easy and calm down? Listen, we want the chief to know we came here as his friends. Tell him a big boat is coming back for us tomorrow and smile, will you? I smile. Mihiro, he must stop the shield. Maski, Larimu Mihiro, he stop. No, God. That's you to Pharaoh. Here, hold this. Kono, give me the radio. Come on, hurry, hurry. Chief, how? Uh, see what I've got? Magic. Try it out. This radio. Uh, uh, two uh, transistors. Uh, I show you. With this here, all other chiefs will uh, shake in your power. Shake. Shake. Uh, tremble. Like me. See? See? Switch it on like this, and you get them my magic. <laughs> Yashi no ippai aru shima ni 
クロンボ親子が住んでいたパパはルンバでママがマンボでその子がこんがにきびぼんをいくれのパンをいらんさんシグレットインヘイルインヘイル They satisfy. Ah, too bad. We forgot to bring candy. Oh, if your mommy knew. You better not smoke it around home. Things all right? It's okay. They're all smoking. You can. Let's go. No good. Run here, Tambra! I kai kai muyo. Maru maru. He gives you permission to stay, good. but he will not be responsible if the giant god comes down from the mountains and eats you up. Fair enough. Sakurai, Sakurai, maybe we can still catch the boat. Forget it, will you? Kono, give these to the chief. Tell him to keep the pack. Hurry. Savages, frightened to death by a little lightning up in the sky, and you're no better. <laughs> Tammy, what's wrong? Fumiko, Fujita's plane crashed. It's in the papers. Flight 311X to Hokkaido crashes. Tragedy struck Hokkaido Airport today. I in addition to the crew, 118 passengers die on board. 27 survived. Maybe, maybe he could be one of the survivors. Why don't you go to Hokkaido? Do not go to Hokkaido. I repeat. The Japanese government has asked me to inform all people that they have good reason to believe Godzilla will strike next at Hokkaido. Mr. Kurt. I see Eric Carter is ready with Dr. Arnold Johnson in New York. Go ahead, New York. Thank you, Japan. This is Eric Carter in New York. Dr. Arnold Johnson is curator of the New York Museum for Natural History and an esteemed authority on prehistoric animals. Dr. Johnson, You've uh, agreed to explain to us some of Godzilla's history. I said I would attempt to explain. After examining photographs of Godzilla taken by the ICS, I tend to classify him as a prehistoric species of dinosaur, possibly a cross between the gigantic Tyrannosaurus rex and the Stegosaurus, which is sometimes known as the plated dinosaur. Roughly, this uh, particular form of reptile existed somewhere between 97 and 125 million years ago. Well, that seems an impossibly long period of time for anything to remain alive, even frozen inside of an iceberg. Well, in Mexico, they found a frog which they think lay dormant for two million years. In Japan, flowers bloomed recently from lotus seeds, 3,000 years old. The fact that Godzilla is here and alive 
forces us to reconsider many theories on suspended animation. Dr. Johnson, you stated Godzilla would definitely come to Japan. What makes you believe this? Fossils found in Japan resemble Godzilla. Also, he headed instinctively for Japan, like a salmon returning to the waters in which he was born. It's my opinion Godzilla thinks he's heading home. Our modern weapons seem to have no effect on Godzilla. Have you any suggestions as to how he can be stopped? Well, I know the atom bomb is being considered, but uh, that would be more destructive than the creature itself. As a reptile, Godzilla might shy away from electricity. But uh, at this time, I wouldn't care to hazard a guess. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson has consented to stand by at UN headquarters and keep himself available for comment and consultation. As you know, the UN newsroom and all its facilities will remain open 24 hours to keep the world completely informed on this crisis. Meanwhile, the expedition dispatched by Tokyo Television Company and the Pacific Pharmaceutical Company reports that they have heard the cries of the giant creature on Faro Island. They are now moving into the interior to establish contact with this strange island god. It is hoped he will be friendly. Hey! Wait for me! Where are you? Aru, Aru! Wait for me! Come on, keep up! I'm tired! Can't we rest? No, we'll keep going until dark. Who says? I says, and if you don't like it, you can go back to camp. Oh, okay, okay. But, but my, my corns hurt. Ah, you and your corn. But you, you see, my corns always hurt when they're near a monster. Great. When you and the monster meet, be sure you tell him all about your corn problems. I heard something. Quiet. Aru, Aru. Throw it! Throw it down! our job. After that, you and your corns can go home. Jigiro, Mr. Furu must need sleep. Get red berry juice. Hurry. Good idea. Thank you. 
Hurry. What? He's after the berry juice. Hurry.
fall asleep. of Tokyo Television reports that the giant god of Faroe Island, an enormous gorilla known as King Kong, has been captured and is being brought to Tokyo. Mr. Taco claims ownership for himself and the Pacific Pharmaceutical Company and is flying out to greet his expedition. What about this, Dr. Johnson? Legends of giant gorillas have persisted for some time. Now, the fact that Kong and Godzilla have appeared at the same time is interesting, scientifically. Godzilla has a brain about this size. He is sheer brute force. While Kong is a thinking animal. His brain is considerably larger. About ten times the size of this gorilla's skull. Being instinctive rivals, there is no doubt that they will attempt to destroy one another. But our latest reports show that Godzilla has disappeared. Keeping this in mind, do you still believe he will attack Japan? I do. Being amphibian, Godzilla is probably lurking in the ocean depths off Japan, where the depths go to about 20,000 fathoms. He could be puzzled at the changes that have taken place during his long sleep. But I have no doubt that when he decides to return to land, he'll select Japan. How does that sound in Tokyo? Not very good. But the army is up to full strength and evacuation plans for all cities are underway. What about the arrival of Kong? King Kong has the strength to tear Tokyo apart with his bare hands. The government has no intention of giving him the chance.
Dynamite is wired to that fuse. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you the captain? I'm the captain. You are to remain outside of Japanese waters until further orders. Who is going to be responsible for King Kong? I am. My company owns him. I have government orders. King Kong is not to enter Japan. Considered a menace, King Kong must be taken back to Faroe Island at once. These orders are final. My Kong? Your orders are specific. My contract. The TV commitments. Return Kong to Faro. Kong, considered a menace to Japan, must be returned. If these orders are not obeyed, I have instructions to place responsible parties under arrest. Boss. Mr. Taco! Boss! Boss! Hi. What's wrong? I thought you were dead. Dead? Do I look dead to you? Your airplane, it crashed. I missed it. The boss kept me working. But Famico went looking for you in Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Oh, what a mess I've made. Are you going out? No, we've decided to leave the city. Why? Is there something wrong? Godzilla. Really? Godzilla? We just heard the late news on the radio. Godzilla was seen near Hokkaido. Mommy, let's go see Godzilla. Child, we're not going to a zoo. Hurry. Fumigo's train. Suguru, it's the express. No. I hope she isn't bothering you. I don't mind it. has risen from the sea. There is no doubt that he is now moving directly towards Hokkaido. The eyes of the world have turned to Japan in this moment of crisis. The United Nations is giving their full support to defense preparations. Each nation has pledged armed divisions and heavy weapons. The main question is whether the men or the weapons can stop Godzilla. General Masami Shinzo, in charge of Japan's defense, has kept the emergency council in all night session. I beg your pardon, General Shinzo, but this is our latest report. Godzilla's nearing Hokkaido. Excellency, we may need the atom bomb. It is my sincerest hope that this will be our last resort. Just where is he now? Sir, Godzilla's last position was reported by helicopter on the Hokkaido mainland in this area. Forty-three to control. Godzilla is approaching. He seems to be attracted by the train lights. Godzilla is 
approaching. Do something. What do you want me to do? Yes, Captain? Cut that cable. Aye, sir. Cut that cable! Oh, God! Let's hurry! The dynamite! Right! Dynamite? No! There's no time to argue! Destroy him! What? King Kong is my responsibility, and you had no right to destroy him. You dumbbell! Dumbbell? King Kong could kill us all. You wouldn't care. Publicity's all you want. Publicity! No, no, no. Don't do it. No, leave it alone. No, no. King Kong is mine. No, no. no. Ah! Use your rifle. Shoot the dynamite. Hurry up. 
reached the Japan mainland. He has been sighted heading in a north, northwesterly direction, which seems to be in a path meant to intercept Godzilla, who is moving southward toward Tokyo. The best explanation for this comes from Dr. Arnold Johnson of America. It appears that King Kong, sending the presence of a hated enemy, is determined to destroy Godzilla. Thus, a battle of the giants, which may or may not have taken place millions of years ago, may be recreated soon on the Nassau Plain. Stop! Stop! Pull this over! Way, this way! Just where do you think you're going, mister? I represent Tokyo Television and Pacific Pharmaceutical. King Kong is under my sponsorship. Get ready. Ah, look, here they come. Pictures. Get some pictures. I think I'd better get a light check. Put my money on Kong. chance. I'll toss you. Heads for King Kong. Tails. a flamethrower. Fight back! Fight him! Treated. Godzilla now reigns supreme and will, in all probability, continue his march towards Tokyo, destroying everything in his path as he goes. The army has made plans for the first line of defense. These villages have been evacuated. The defense plans, in a simplified form, are to dig out an enormous pit and line it with explosives and poison gas. 
Riverbeds and canals on each side of the pit will be filled with gasoline and set on fire. The fire should drive Godzilla into the trap in the center where the explosives can be detonated. Shinzo. Godzilla reported in close vicinity. You'll be here by night. Godzilla is sighted. Please work as quickly as possible. Get that dynamite ready. Godzilla has crossed the first line of defense. He seems indestructible. On the advice of Dr. Johnson, a blockade of high tension wires containing more than one million volts of electricity is being hastily linked around Tokyo. It was observed in his attack on the train at Hokkaido that he moved away from the high tension wires whenever possible. Yet, Dr. Johnson, you have stated that King Kong grows stronger from electricity. Yes. For some reason we do not yet understand, Kong draws strength from electric voltage. Well, then if the electric blockade stopped Godzilla, it would not stop Kong. No, it would not. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're switching now to the northwest perimeter, where Premier Shigezawa has gone to inspect the electrical blockade. 
All thoughts here are centered on repulsing Godzilla and saving Tokyo and over 10 million people from certain death. The blockade is ready. The only question is, will it work? says Kong approaching Tokyo. King Kong? electrical blockade. All civilians evacuate immediately. Headshot, General Shenzhen. civilians. King Kong has entered Tokyo. All civilians evacuate immediately. I won't leave you. Get going. <laughs> Sir, what about the atom bomb? I'm not ready to discuss it. But it's our only chance. We hope it is not. Why not? Because we're not anxious to destroy Tokyo, that's why. Doctor, what can you tell us? Please, sir, tell us something. There is nothing more to say. The atom bomb is ready and waiting. But first, we must evacuate Tokyo and perhaps all Japan.
The guns are ready, but they won't stop him. King Kong will only become angrier. Soldier, I'm in charge. You listen to me. Attention all gun batteries. Attention all gun batteries. Stop, stop. Listen, you can't start shooting at Kong now. He's holding my sister in his hand. Hold your fire. Yes, sir. Hold fire. I can see her. She's alive. But we can't hold our fire for long. King Kong must not be allowed to escape. Let her go. Put her down. You ugly monster! Let her go! What'll we do? I know. What's that? Get my drums, right away. Sure. I can stop him, sir. You can? Yes. I'm sure we can put him to sleep. Soma, a perfect idea. We can explode them from above. Hey, that's right. You have the berry juice put inside the head of a rocket. The exploding fumes will put him to sleep. Yeah. Obashi, yes, sir. Get the Soma from my office. Yes. You can't do that. Famiko's up there. Don't worry. It's all going to work out. Taco, I hope we're right. Ha! King Kong can't make a monkey out of us. Easy with that stuff. Get those last Okay, let's go. Get that microphone. Easy. Here, get that sound tape ready. What if it doesn't work? It's got to work. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. Ready. Good. Ready here. Ready? Fire one! Fire two!
Fumiko! Fumiko! Are you all right, Fumiko? Fumiko! Sakura! How do you feel? Fujita! I'm here, dear. There's the ambulance. Oh. Take her this way. Easy now. Careful. Congratulations, Congratulations fellas. Wonderful. 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 Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations, men. Sir, Godzilla's at Mount Fuji. Gentlemen, our blockade cannot last forever. We must act. The atomic bomb is out of the question. Our only chance is somehow to bring them together. Kong versus Godzilla. We are lucky. Both will die. Both will die? But how can we move him? General, an airlift with balloons. Fujita, your wire will hold Kong, won't it? Sure. Let us try. All right. Good, let's go. Whenever you're ready. Kong's ready. Sir, Operation Kong is ready. Proceed. Take him out. How soon do you figure we'll be there? By morning. Good. Faster, faster.
Look, Khan's waking up. There's Godzilla. Look below. Tell who's winning. Can you? Not yet. Kong, hold his tail.
Godzilla is roasting King Kong. Electrical storm up ahead of us, sir. Lightning bolts. Kong has a chance. Electricity makes him stronger. Now watch. Electricity makes him stronger? Uh-huh. them go. What's that? is swimming safely out to sea. 
No Godzilla. That's wonderful. I hope we've seen the last of them for a long time. Godzilla has disappeared without a trace. As for King Kong, our international communication satellite is following him. And strangely enough, we wish him luck on his long, long journey home. Thank you.